Uh, this is a, a, a weird clip. This is a, a Brian Whitman show he had on Alec Baldwin yesterday. Oh, I read about this. This sounds funny. Yeah. I, pl I played this because it was in the papers, and Sean Hannity, whose show I did, Sean Hannity called in to the Brian Whitman show to yell at Alec Baldwin and say, you know, you were supposed to do my show first. We had an agreement. Oh. Uh, before you went on any other show, you were going to come on my show. And uh, it's, it's, it's really fascinating what went on here between Alec Baldwin, the actor, who is a liberal activist, and Sean Hannity. Uh, listen to this. Alec, I wanted to give you an official WABC welcome, considering uh, you uh, you were supposed to come on my program last week, and you uh, you didn't show up. What happened? No, I wasn't supposed to come on your program, no, Sean I Hannity. No, I was supposed to come on the program, because a deal was made with your agent that if you were going to come on with Brian, first you'd come on with me. I wouldn't dream of coming on your program, well, Sean Hannity. Because I'm here with Brian. Person. I'm here with a really talented... You, are, you don't tell the truth. I'm here with a really talented broadcaster. Oh, Why no, would no, I want to no, come no, on no, the no, show? No. With a no talent former construction worker hack like you. Are you the guy that said that our vice president, while we're at war, while we're leading troops in harm's way, are you the reckless uh, third rate rate Hollywood actor that said that Dick Cheney's a uh, terrorist? Are you the guy? Are yes, the I guy am. That stoned Henry Hyde to death? Are you the guy that said uh, our president's a CIA mass murderer? You know something? I no for, uh, uh, come uh, on the program and defend it, you gutless coward. At first, I, I thought this was, a, this was a joke, but you can hear all the acid. Venom spewing and the hatred. It is Sean Hannity. Yeah, well, Brian, didn't his agent say he was supposed to come on the program as part of the deal to come on your show? I have to, oh. Alec, I have to. Alec, it, is that true, Brian? Uh, I don't know what I don't know what the arrangement was. Were you supposed to be on Sean's show? Not at all. Never. That's not true. I would never do your show, Sean Hannity. Well, you know You're a no talent hack. Won't do my show. Now, now O'Reilly's show, I did because O'Reilly has talent. Well, I hope now O'Reilly is talented. No, because see, you're see, in the whole nexus, see, see, in all the maybe. nexus of talk radio, there's two there's two chasms here. There's two there's two houses. There's the house of Riley, right, 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 who's talented, who oh, has so real talent as a broadcaster, and there's, the and there's Hannity, who's a hack, who's a who's a hack. Wow. Oui. It goes on. You want to hear more? Yeah. yeah they, these guys really went on it. I tell you, I do feel responsible for spawning a type of reality radio that uh, has just, it's combustible now. It's like people get on the air and just blast each other. Right. And, and to me, I love a good argument. There's nothing better. Alec, you're a Long Island guy. Hannity's a Long Island guy. He's a third-rate Hollywood actor. They, you got to have something in common here. There's got to be some common ground. I don't have one thing in common hey, with Brian, Sean Hannity. I'll tell you why he won't come on my show. You want to know why? And I challenge you, Alec Baldwin, because for once and for all, you need to be challenged. You want to call our vice president a terrorist? Fine. You want to talk about stoning people to death? Say it on my program. If you want to be irresponsible and call our president a mass murderer while he's at war leading troops in harm's way, and what are you going to do? And what are you going to do about it, Sean Hannity? What are you going to do? And what are you going to do about it, Sean Hannity? If I come on your program, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And if I do, what are you going to do? IQ. That's what he's going to do. What are you going to do? I just told you, you got a two-digit IQ. He's and, and, and who's that? Little, who's your little cabin boy there with Not you? Not a cabin boy, butt boy. What are you doing there, cabin boy? Why, tell me, what's your latest what, what's movie? His name? What's uh, his this name? is Mark Levin. Who, who is Mark Levin? Mark Levin is an ABC radio host. Mark Levin is the highest rated host on uh, WABC. You're, I now dub you, for all your listeners, cabin boy. You are Sean Hannity's yeah, cabin boy. You know boy. what you are? Right, you're broke boy? back. You're broke back, uh, Alec. All right. <laughs> What happened? How did that guy get on? I don't phone? know, man. It goes on. Ganging up on it. Do you want to hear more? Sure. You won't talk to Sean. What's the point? What's the say? You gotta be kidding. There's nothing left here. There's nothing left. Let's do to Sean what eating? Sean would do to a caller. It's doing what Sean's doing now. How well, do we do? Is that? there a resolution? There is no. Yeah, there is a resolution. Will you go on his show? Never. I wouldn't dream of doing that. Why would I waste my time doing that? Uh, does Sean want to say goodbye nicely? Sean. Yeah. <clears throat> Sean, are you done, honey? Are you finished? I'm uh, no, sweetheart. Thanks anyway. Okay. <laughs> Best of luck, Sean. You no talent whore. No. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then uh, finally, Alec Baldwin ended up leaving the studio anyway because uh, some listener said some stuff. Oh, jeez. He'll hide behind his blog. He'll hide behind all his Hollywood friends. He'll hide behind Saturday Night Live jokes. But when confronted in a real situation to tell why yet we're at war... And why he's saying these things about the commander-in-chief of our troops. It's not about Sean Hannity. It's not about Mark Levin. It's about him being a reckless, irresponsible actor that has a ridiculous point of view. And he's never been confronted on him.
Brian? Hold on, so turn his microphone on. How do we do that? Here we go. You're on, Alec. You're on. Listen, Sean, you incredibly ignorant boob from Long Island. Let me, let me, no, 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 you, you, you've spoken. Let me, let me talk, Sean. Let me talk. Because you've been spewing your, you, you spewing all your. Hollywood egomania. No, Sean, you are a no talent, ignorant fool from Long Island. You should go back to building houses out in Hempstead. begging for a job. Good luck. Okay, listen, Sean, we're going to end this right now. I'm so pissed off at you anyway. All right, now come on, guys. Brian, challenge him on his statements. I'll hang up. All right, Sean's saying that. I'll hang up, too. He's a tough guy. Come back. Come back. Alec, come back. They're gone. Alec? Alec has uh, walked out of the studio. Alec, please come Please come back. The comment about his wife got He is yeah, uh, Levin, in the other room. Yeah. Alec. Oh, wow. Alec Baldwin has put on his jacket, and uh, he has left, unfortunately. That's not what we, uh, that's not what we want here. <laughs> but uh, apparently that is... Uh, what he wants. That is the way it's ended here tonight. Wow, I mean, that's great. I'm looking at an empty chair, a pair of headphones. This guy's lost. Yeah, he doesn't know what uh, now. Half a Diet Coke that is left unconsumed. Sing something. Break into some karaoke, dude. Yeah, put on some Led Zeppelin. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah, that was good. Wow. That At one point he was though. eating, he was like... Yeah, what was what's going on? What's going on? You no talent whore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never, there was never an arrangement to come on your show. You might not want to eat <laughs> during an argument. <laughs> well, I don't know if I can go over there. Hold on. <laughs> um, you incredible boob from Long Island. That imbecile man cat tried to take a shot at me at Fox and Friends, um, but uh, he's so lame. I'm listening to this, and I go, the guy doesn't, I don't even know why they have, he doesn't even get a laugh. Wow. Hey, guys, he hauls buck. Wow. Who is that? <laughs> That's man cow. Oh, my goodness. Why is he screaming? You know, it's weird. He got a syndication oh, deal. <laughs> he bombed in just about every market that he went on in. Then he got a syndication deal, and they have these big front page ads in radio and records. Benji, can you stop eating for a minute? You're like Alec Baldwin. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's an orgy. What is that? Look at so look what at is a container? That? That's a container that you would buy for a milk. What is that? You know, for consumption for a week. It's what a is that? Hold it up. I don't want to see it. it. <laughs> Almond? What is that? Almond what? I think it's like soy It's milk. like uh, an alternative to milk. You're drinking oh, a crate God. of it? Yeah. How like, many calories do you think this whole thing is? I don't know. Benj, I, I, Benj. I would, are you eating the serving? I'm calories? just saying, dude, you, you're eating now out of crates. You're not eating. You're this eating... whole thing is 160 calories. You, yeah, sure you have nine look of them. Look at it. It's 160 calories, the whole thing. A serving. No. You see, eat it. Look at it. Can I say something? Serving. I think Four Benji serving. is seeing how well I'm doing with the overeating slob bit. <laughs> yeah. And he's copying. And he's stealing it. Yeah. Do me a favor, man. I'm seeing too much of you. 